Hello friends, we are going to replicate exact scene. Let us start part 2 of moving a car using CSS. In last part, we created a scene using images of car and its wheels. Now this is my CSS file with some modification. And in this HTML file, which I have used three images. Now let us go back and use animation properties in CSS to move the car. The first necessary property which I am using is animation name. We can give any name to the animation here. After that, I am using animation duration and its value should be given in seconds and the property I am using is animation iteration count. This can have values in digit or simply we can put infinite as a value to run animation forever. Now as we all know that animation happens in frames, uh, in here in CSS. I am using a keyword at the rate keyframes and I will mention the name of our animation that is bckg that is the name of our animation. Now let us try and animate the background. I am using background position property and it's 0 on x axis and 0 on y axis at 0 percent and at 100 percent it should be minus 1000 pixel on x axis and 0 on y axis. Basically we are trying to move the background from x axis to y axis. And by using this property our background will keep moving. But as uh, you can notice here we are able to see some glitch. Let us fix that. I will fix it by using a property known as timing function. Let us try to reduce the duration of animation. Now to change the direction, we can also change the values. Let us also animate both the wheels. I am copying the same properties for wheels also. And we will just change the name of animation in order to differentiate. again using keyframes and we are trying to rotate both the wheels.
Now with keyframes I am using the name of animation which I have given to both the wheels that is W1 and W2. Here I am using transform property to rotate the wheels. Now decreasing the animation duration will make wheels rotate faster. Let us rotate wheels a bit more faster. Same applies to the background also. Now after seeing all these properties, we will quickly discuss one last point that we can also use animation as a shorthand property. I'm using animation as a keyword and directly using all the property values. Whatever I'm mentioning here is the values of the properties. And mentioning the same, we can animate the objects. For both wheels also, I am going to use shorthand property. So as you can see, the background as well as the wheels of the car is moving and it gives the illusion that car is moving in one direction. So this is how we can animate the uh, objects. By learning some of the animation properties, you can even create your own animation. Thank you.